have a series of volcanoes that I pulled that I'm going to look at in different ways using satellite imagery. I'm going to look at some volcanoes in some pretty good detail. We'll start with a sleeper volcano that's active. Just don't hear it as much. I have, oh my god, a series of vol- I do not. That threw me off hearing myself. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Volcano in Vanatu. Make a time lapse of it on top of it. Push play. Setting everything up, sorry. A lot of cloud obstruction, a lot of cloud obscurity. Move on to the next one. Volcano Mayan in Luzon, which is the Largest island of the Philippines. A little closer. We were using false color on the satellite. Be able to distinguish lava, heat, and uh moisture levels because fire and heat drives away moisture and water creates lahars creates a lot of conditions that are unfavorable to anybody or anything caught in this boiling water which is what a lahar is uh, a boiling wave of Fluid, not just water, but fluids. Water boils and corrupts and interrupts the processes of many living things, plants and animals. Play. Go back one. This is volcano. This is the crater, the summit. I could look closer at it, but date is that the twenty third? So we come over here. We go to February 23rd. We zoom in on it.
else we have here? Crater at the summit. Where the volcanic cone blasted off or was never really there. We have these lava lakes that occur at the summit. Looks to be lots and lots and lots of ejecta, lots of steam, smoke. The moisture index. Yep, there's there's that. You see, lava also has moisture that you can detect. It's also very hot, so it stands out like a sore thumb. Somebody waving at you. Why? Why is that thumb so huge? They hit with a hammer. It is Well, we can't see any lava using normal visuals. We can still see the volcano for what it is underneath all that smoke and steam ejecta. The volcano's happening. This is Mayan uh, in the Phil uh, Philippines. I'm not going in alphabetical order. They just happen to be on my list in some alphabetical order. This is Marapi in central Sumatra. Cloud obstructed. Next one is Merapi in Central Java, Indonesia. Sorry, my cat was chewing in my hand while I was mousing around. That looks pretty, you know, like a clear indication of lava here. Yeah, you see the lava here. Push play. Twenty second of February. Have a look at the 22nd of February. On this volcano here. Moisture. Well, not much to see there. Oh, just a lot of hazy smokiness.
And we continue on. This next one is Fernandina in Ecuador. This is a massive shield volcano. It, whoa. Wow, that's a significant eruption. Very significant eruption. Every year or two, there's a significant eruption, I recall, on different flanks of the crater. Because as you see, this is a shield volcano, but it collapsed. And there's a lot of water that's still here in the center of Fernandina on Fernandina Island in the Galapagos chain, Ecuador. This <clears throat> this is not one of the islands, I believe, that has marine deep sea iguanas which you know those deep sea giant monstrous iguanas they eat grass underwater they survive entirely on grass so climate change warming waters we might see species like these become extinct relatively quickly due to an inavailability of their primary source of food that we see a lot of different coastlines that used to have uh, like a coral reef, but it's been bleached. It's been not literally bleached, bleached, but the life on the coral dies and it becomes just these stony husks. There's no way Florida can heal. Florida is on borrowed time. Their coastlines are engineered in such a way that it feels like anything uh, between the 80s and 90s should be suspect, any kind of developments, because they're not taken into account coastlines that have been fading and how that water can get underneath certain areas that makes it very difficult to rescue people in these types of collapses that happen from the bottom up that just like a stack of cards Florida is on borrowed time unfortunately now this here is a massive so it's four and three quarters of a mile wait let's say mile kilometer four and three quarters kilometer kilometers This is six and a half kilometers, the entire dome structure. This is not the volcano here. This is the crater at the having this massive summit here. A little bit more inside. And then you have The volcano uh, 
I can't not getting the entire circle, but This is the interior of the crater, which was a shield volcano, this massive dome. And at some point, due to eruptions, seismic activity, volcanic activity, it uh, collapsed into itself in its own footprint, pretty much. And then lava just seems to rise up off the flanks on the sides. And hurls down to the ocean, because this is just a volcanic island. Just a volcano on this island. The actual volcano itself. It is a massive huge volcano, but, well I should say, and, this is There's a significant eruption here. There's uh, significant volcanoes all around here. Galapagos chain of volcanoes the Galapagos chain of islands, but they're mostly more volcano than island. Can't zoom in on the iguanas here. So for Fernandina, uh, Fernandina, Fernandina, Fernandina Island. Got it. This doesn't. This right here does not look like lava. This looks like fire. This looks like the lava. Sent some wildfires out southwest. So here we are on the 3rd of March, I'm sorry, <laughs> on the 1st of March, the eruption happened pretty spectacular, it's a huge eruption. Looks like it all just stemmed from this axis point right here. Going down. This fire here started due to lava catching shrubs, wild like uh, plants on fire. Just incinerating them, causing a chain of of wave of fires crossing between the two uh, drips of lava here. You got here and here. So this could be having a wildfire that's bouncing back and forth for heat. Just it just keeps incinerating what's left of the side of the mountain. Let's look at another side of this uh, volcano. As you see here, this is on the third. I keep doing that. This is the first of March. This is the sixth. So there's a few days in there. Let's see if we can find another way to look at this. If we can see this. Hey, we can actually see lava. Those are lava streams. Those are 
huge, hugely visible. One and a half kilometers. Yeah, these, uh, a little pop mark here. The lava goes under, goes over, spreads, it needs, it, it's alarming what lava can do. Mostly just burn things. So you see down here on the further, far southern side. Right here, I got wildfire as a result of this lava spilling over this giant bucket of a shield volcano that collapsed. This is Fernandina Island. The volcano on it is called Fernandina, Ecuador. Or the Galapagos chain. You know what? This. This is Google Earth. Let's go to these islands. give a sense of scale to just the enormity of this volcano. It's larger than all the other volcanoes, the other islands, not combined. And it has a giant lake in the center where it had collapsed. No telling how far deep that water goes or if it's boiling, but it's probably highly acidic the age value will be all wrecked. We can see previous volcanic eruptions on the side of the mountain of the volcano. Volcan La Cumbre. Isla Fernandina. Darwin. These are the volcanoes in the vicinity of the area. And you have Ecuador, Wolf, Darwin, Acedo, Isabella, Nivra, Thomas, Villamil, Azul, Santa Cruz, Santiago, or, uh, active volcanoes. So it's a big active area. Very, very close to each other, but still this volcano utterly massive. This pop up. Nope, blank. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't uh, populate uh, it doesn't transfer the screen even if I highlight it. Nope, nothing. When I click on things for uh, on Google Earth, it doesn't share it on the, not share it, it doesn't present it on the stream. Very strange. That is
I don't know how long... How long I was muted. I know I was muted at least while I was looking at Google Earth, but... At least I am pretty sure that I was spinning around and showing the size and scale of the volcano. That I don't have to go back over that again. I don't think anything was said that I wasn't trying to... Sucks me when you accidentally leave yourself muted because you know, you cough or something. Cough button. Be press to mute. Maybe press to mute is more what I'm looking at. Now this is Fernandina Walk in La Cumbre on Fernandina Island. In a very, very active territory of volcanoes. Very active volcanoes. This is a massive volcano. Get rid of that. So I'm pretty sure I was talking about lava here. Lava flows. Wildfires here that are extending between the lava flows. The one north of this still struggling to get down. A lot of brush, it's a lot of material that gets rolled up. You can see a wildfire here burning. Significant smoke. The fires here. You see lava as well, streaming down. These are lava streams. They're very active now. When you have the lava stream, you're only seeing the top of it. It's going to be the most recent lava that's going through the Roman aqueduct. Aqueduct. Yes. That is Fernandina Volcano. Normally don't pull in the Google Earth, but I like that. This next one is a popular one. Etna. Summit Crater. Mount Etna, Italy. Sicily, Italy. It is a Sicilian volcano prone to being temperamental, Sicilian in nature. Very hot blooded, hot headed, and frustratingly stubborn. No signs of eruption, no ejecta, no lava flow. I know this one's going to be cloud obstructed, but what is this is Ara, Japan. Hey, 20th, 220. Look at that smoking mountain here. That is massive. A great shot. Wow. 
What, what, what an eruption. What an eruption they'll catch. Wow, you can see the smoke here. It's the vapor. It is incredible. It is another very large volcano. This is quite an eruption. Imagine for this volcano. Japan. Now you see these radar artifacts. It's red, greens, and blues. Stars. Alright. Let's look at the next volcano on my list. Near Agongo. It is in Central Africa. Circular, the clouds here, it might be lenticular. Look, this is from February to March, last 30 days. Mm, cloud coverage, but... I don't know what that is. Could be artifact, uh, radar artifact, yes, radar artifact. Pointed out, I forgot I pointed out, yeah. Cloud obstructed. Next one just happened to be a neighbor of Nira Congo. This is Nyamulagira, Central Africa. Very close by. Whoa. Yeah, that's happening. Naira Mulagira. Sounds like a Godzilla villain. It is a massive volcano, just like the you know, Shield volcano, just like you were looking at a. Uh, Fernandina, very similar in structure, although it's part of a much larger piece of land, you know, Africa, not an island on its own, volcano, and it is just significantly, let's see if we can at least find a shot of it without the Yeah. Wow. Okay. What a shot. This is the crater at the summit. 
this is not the entire volcano. The entire volcano, like this, with this huge scooped out dome, well, inver inversion of a dome. Caldera. Okay. I think I thought of a different word that probably wasn't what I was trying to find, but it works. The internal guts of the volcano we see here is not the volcano itself. This is just the summit crater. Pretty significant. See, this was a, this had a larger, see how it peels back here. This is where all the grasses and stuff are overgrowing. Africa's Smoking Mountain is huge. See the way it sets. And it has this massive exposed uh, inerts caldera. And then you have the rim of the crater. It's just huge. But it's not, you know, like one huge volcano, like a lava that comes up flowing like this. Just like a Fernanda, Fernandina. Lava just sputters and comes out in these huge trenches. Or these, uh, uh, fingerlings. I don't know what to really call them. The way that the lava glides down very slowly. The lava seems to be thicker, to be heavier. Not get as much distance as, you know, you would think. But again, the volcanoes that we're looking at here are massive, especially for an Andina. That's why it might have not looked to be that much. These volcanoes, they are massive, and they were probably far more massive before, judging by the scale of this summit crater. Crater at the summit. And this is... Crater summit. Yes. I think I got time for one or two more volcanoes. This next one, I'm sorry, Niagara is a strata volcano, not a shield volcano. Niagara. Gango is a shield volcano. A 
let's go look at my favorite volcano, Krakatoa. Let's get a good visual of it. February 8th. That is the volcano in the middle. Anak. Krakatoa, the son of Krakatoa, the island, volcanic island that destroyed itself in a blast of fury. So, 30,000 inhabitants were said to have perished that were on the island before. And uh, the island slowly reformed what, decades later to what it is now. A very large, heavily active volcanic island. I said February 8th. This is massive, huge amount of lava that's coming out of here over the last few years, building up. See the lava there. Did not do false color on the time lapse of this Krakatoa. This next one is on the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. Klaichevsky. 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 That looks lenticular right there.
Alright, I think that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening, watching with me. We experience some of these volcanoes. If uh, you could please like the stream, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out immensely. Keeps me motivated. I will... See you again soon. Thank you.